What's up guys do you want to know about that what is the best mid-range phone in 2020? What phone should I buy in 2020? Which smartphone will last the longest? Then watch the video till the end. The Google Pixel 3a is comfortably one of the best phones you can buy for £399 there's much to like about it on all fronts. The highlight is the camera and, while you'll find phones with more megapixels out there, unless you pay a lot more you won't get snaps this good. Like the much pricier Pixel 3, the 3a packs a 12 megapixel f 1.8 camera with a load of Google's excellent AI software on board, the Pixel 3a's screen is superb too. It's an OLED panel with punchy colors, excellent viewing angles and no notch to speak of, there are compromises in some areas, however. There's no IP rating or wireless charging, the mid-range Snapdragon 670 chipset is merely okay and the body is made of plastic. If you want every spec and feature going you'll probably want to look elsewhere, to the Xiaomi Mi 9, for example. Number 4 The Xiaomi Mi Note 10 is a mid-range phone with some high-end device design traits. It packs five cameras, a main 108-megapixel sensor and a generously sized battery that lasts pretty well. In some areas, the Xiaomi Mi Note 10 is made to the same standard as a phone costing twice as much. Its sides are metal, and both the front and rear of the device are substantial, curved pieces of glass. There's no plastic border between the metal and glass, which is highly unusual for a phone costing less than £600. The Mi Note 10 has a 6.47 inch screen, an OLED panel with a 2340 x 1080 pixel resolution, excellent for the money. You may find larger, but you won't find much better, particularly if the curvy front appeals, day-to-day -day performance is technically sound, as you'd hope from a device with a good CPU and 6GB of RAM. Most of the cameras that feature on the Mi Note 10's rear are impressive. There's a 2x zoom, a 3x zoom lens the phone crops into for 5x images, an ultra-wide and a dedicated macro. The macro sensor is the only real dud, in almost all situations the other cameras offer better results. Normal shots are packed full of detail, 108 megapixel shots even more so. The camera is unusually good at dealing with the light levels of tricky scenes such as sunsets. However, the camera is where you'll discover the Xiaomi Mi Note 10's most significant performance issues. It's slow. There's shutter lag of around half a second, and image processing takes a long time, this isn't the most polished smartphone on the market. The camera is slow, it isn't the most attractive phone despite all that curved glass, and fingerprint scanner performance is poor. However, you do get plenty of hardware for your money and, despite its flaws, the Xiaomi Mi Note 10 offers good value. Number 3 The Mi 9T Pro seems almost too good to be true. With this model, Xiaomi rivals the Honor 20 and OnePlus 7, offering flagship specs and slick design at a mid-range price. Unlike the competition, however, the Mi 9T Pro has a headphone jack, not to mention a Super AMOLED Full HD Plus full-screen display, meaning there are no notches or hole punches in sight. At just £399, this phone is significantly better than any other similarly priced devices packing flagship specs, performance in general is excellent, particularly the gaming experience. A Snapdragon 855 processor coupled with 6GB RAM lets this phone power through benchmarks and games alike. While it doesn't quite stack up against the cream of the current crop of dedicated gaming phones, it doesn't fall far short, and compared to the best of 2018 the Razer Phone 2 and Asus ROG Phone, the Mi 9T Pro wins out, the software isn't perfect, though it is perfectly usable. Annoying quirks include scanning for viruses every time you install an app. While this sounds great, it doesn't merely scan in the background, it takes you to a different screen. You can remove this feature, however, and also reinstate an application's tray with a custom launcher, as we did. The experience then went from a 60% to a 90%, but if you're not prepared to tweak the UI to suit you, some elements might get a bit frustrating. If you need a new phone that won't break the bank, the Xiaomi Mi 9T is one of the easiest phones out now to recommend. It combines exceptional value for money with premium, accessible design, powerful internals and a very good stills and video camera. The phone's all-screen display and under-display fingerprint scanner are also highlights at this price, and it has a headphone jack, making it something of a unicorn among flagship spec devices available now. OnePlus has traditionally produced real winners at this price point, and this year's model is no expectation. 
bringing 5G for a reasonable price, along with a top class processor, ensures that this is one of the best mid range choices for those seeking a powerhouse performer for less. In terms of sheer power, this will hold its own even among Android flagships, and the 5G capability gives it some future proofing too. On top of that, it's got a great screen that boasts vibrant colors, perfect contrast, and a sharp resolution, all along with a 90 Hz refresh rate that makes scrolling extra smooth and is a rare feature for this price. However, we weren't quite as impressed by the camera, the macro camera wasn't worth a thing, and there's no optical zoom for sharp close up shots. What's more, while the premium models in the series finally got upgraded to have wireless charging and an IP rating, the OnePlus 8 still has to go without. The Xiaomi Mi 9 is unquestionably a serious piece of kit. It features Qualcomm's latest and greatest chipset, the Snapdragon 855 and packs in all sorts of other desirables, including fast wireless charging, HDR visuals and a triple rear camera array headed up by a 48-megapixel primary sensor, while it has less of the cool factor than the rival OnePlus 7, which is similarly priced, the Mi9 embodies Daft Punk's sentiment of harder, better, faster, stronger. It can hold its own against the might of Apple and Samsung at a much more affordable price point, and is definitely worth considering when you're seeking out a new smartphone.